Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office and thank you for joining me. And thank you for your continuing prayer support and suggestions and comments. Please keep them coming. If you'd like to hear your prayer intentions mentioned in the videos, use the prayer request form at the website brotherbill.net. This is morning prayer for Monday, August the 27th, and the scripture for this service, Psalms 1, 2, and 3, and John chapter 6, verse 52 to 59. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Happy indeed are those who follow not the counsel of the wicked. Alleluia. Psalms 1, 2, and 3. Happy indeed are those who follow not the counsel of the wicked, nor linger in the way of sinners, nor sit in the company of scorners, but whose delight is in the law of the Most High, and who ponder God's law day and night. They are like a tree that is planted beside the flowing waters, that yields its fruit in due season, and whose leaves shall never fade, and all that they do shall prosper. Not so are the wicked, not so. For they, like winnowed chaff, shall be driven away by the wind. When the wicked are judged, they shall not stand. They shall not find room among those who are just. For you, God, guard the way of the just, but the way of the wicked leads to doom. And why this tumult among the nations, among peoples, this useless murmuring? They rise, the rulers of the earth. Rulers plot against God and God's anointed. Come, let us break their fetters. Come, let us cast off their yoke. You who sit in the heavens laugh. You are laughing them to scorn. And then you will speak in anger, and in rage you will strike them with terror. It is I who have set up my sovereign on Zion, on my holy mountain. I will announce your decree. You said to me, you are my son. It is I who have begotten you this day. Ask, and I shall bequeath you the nations. Put the ends of the earth in your possession. With a rod of iron you will break them, shatter them like a potter's jar. Now, O rulers, understand. Take warning, O rulers of the earth. Serve the Most High with awe, and trembling pay your homage. Lest God be angry, and you perish. For suddenly God's anger will blaze. Blessed are they who put their trust in God. How many are my foes, O God? How many rise up against me? How many are saying about me, no help will come from God? But you are a shield above me, my glory who lift up my head. I cry aloud to you, beloved, and you answer from your holy mountain. I lie down to rest and I sleep. I wake for you uphold me. I will not fear even thousands of people who are ranged on every side against me. Rise, beloved, save me, my God, you who strike all my foes in the mouth, you who break the teeth of the wicked. O God of salvation, bless your people. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Happy indeed are those who follow not the counsel of the wicked. Alleluia. The lesson is from the Holy Gospel according to John, chapter 50, uh, 6, beginning at verse 52. The Jews then disputed among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? And so Jesus said to them, Very truly I tell you, Unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Those who eat my flesh and drink my blood have eternal life, and I will raise them up on the last day. For my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. Those who eat my flesh and, and drink my blood abide in me, and I in them. 
just as the living Father sent me, and I live because of the Father. So whoever eats me will live because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven, not like that which your ancestors ate, and they all died. But the one who eats this bread will live forever. And he said these things while he was teaching in the synagogue at Capernaum. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions for peace in Jerusalem and in all the world, for the welfare of the Holy Church and for the unity of all, for Tom, Alan, Ray, Richard, and Don, and for all of our church leaders and for all clergy and ministers, for Barack, our president, Joe, our vice president, and John, our speaker, and for the leaders of the nations and for all in authority. For the good earth which God has given, and for the wisdom and the will to conserve it. For those who travel on land and water and in the air. For the aged and the infirm, especially Marilyn and Marjorie and Ronald Francis and Max. For the widowed and the orphaned, especially Chris. And for the sick and the suffering. For the poor and the oppressed, for the unemployed and the destitute for prisoners and captives, especially Christian, for all who remember and care for them, for all who died in the hope of the resurrection, especially Sarah and William, Roger, Stephen Edward, and Stephen Michael, and for all of the departed, for deliverance from all danger, violence, oppression, and degradation, for the absolution and the remission of our sins and our offenses. In the communion of Francis and Claire and all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and all of our lives to Christ our God. For the mercy of God community, that it may continue to rush toward Christ. That God, who's begun this ministry, may bring it to fulfillment. For the intentions of all who've asked our prayers and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. O God, the King Eternal, whose light divides the day from night and turns the shadow of death into the morning, drive far from us all wrong desires, incline our hearts to keep your law and guide our feet into the way of peace, that having done your will with cheerfulness, what cheerfulness while it was day, we may, when night comes, rejoice to give you thanks through Jesus our Savior. Amen. Bless Yahweh, my soul, and glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church, and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.